approached for a very iconic movie which they rejected. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. It takes a village to be relevant in the public eye for decades and be the superstar they will invest in regardless of everything else. Both Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt have ruled their niches in the West and there is still a high demand for the two. Every announcement makes waves, and releases have fans flooding theaters, leading to unimaginable box office most of the times. But did you know there was a time when there was scope for these two to unite for an iconic movie and a possibility that they could romance each other? Well, to ease down your curiosity, let us tell you the name of the movie. It is none other than one of Hollywood's one of most iconic movies, Brokeback Mountain. Starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger opposite each other. The movie is hailed for being one of the most nuanced dramas, where two men fall in love with each other. But did you know the director first wants Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt in his movie? Yes, back in 2018, director Gus Van Sant had said that he wanted the famous stars to pull the crowd to his movie, so he approached the two superstars and some more. But they rejected it, read on to know everything you should know about the same. As per Marka, Brokeback Mountain director confirmed this news a couple of years ago and said he did approach Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt before casting Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger in the roles that went on to become iconic. He said, nobody wanted to do it, I was working on it, and I felt we needed a really strong cast like a famous cast. That wasn't working. I asked the usual candidates. Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, Ryan Phillip. They all said no. Now, whether is for either of the role or both coming together to romance each other isn't clear, but chances of the latter are high, since Gus wanted famous stars to headline the movie. Both the superstars must be regretting passing on the movie considering what cult it has become now. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't